Hello everyone, this is Eric with Oakland Tobacconist, joined by my brother Andrew. We are off-site to bring you a cigar review of the Liga Zebra. And you are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Okay, so today we are actually reviewing Liga Zebra made by American Viking Cigars uh, by Tim Swanson, who has Cigars Daily. We actually took a trip out to Arizona not too long ago. Hey everybody, I'm Tim here with Eric from Oakland Tobacconist, and today we're here to help you pick a winner. And so what I want to do is I want to jump into actually exploring why this cigar has made it to your favorite and what are some of the impressions. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cut this up, get it lit, and see what we think. when you have a cigar and you initially light it up you get that burst of pepper sometimes burst of flavor and it starts to calm down but this cigar I understand. yeah very very <laughs> minimal um, if anything the hint of pepper might come a little bit on the retro hail but even that very mild so you've smoked the cigar quite a bit in fact it's one of your main go-to's in the humidor what is one of the most drawing factors of the cigar itself you can have it any time of the day especially for me starting out new into the cigars this one, the taste-wise and strength-wise, just fits me perfect. I would definitely say it's not too uh, like aggressive, but it's also not boring. Yeah, this is definitely not a cigar that you forget about. It's not a cigar that you have, and then you go, yeah, it just tastes like a cigar. This one has flavor to it, and it's one that I always remember. And if there's any like predominant flavor notes, what would you say are some of the ones that come to mind when you smoke it? A bunch of cream. <laughs> I mean, if this was a liquid, you put it right in your coffee. <laughs> no, I agree on the creaminess. It almost has like a banana creaminess, like a banana cream like accent to it, or even a little bit raisiny. And I've actually, raisiny. And I would say I've actually smoked several different barber poles. This is one of the few that has very minimal burning issues. So that's the initial light up. Uh, we're actually going to continue smoking, probably get into the second, third, let you know uh, where we're at. We're also going to try something with the creaminess, we want to see if we maybe bring some of that out with also adding a particular pairing, a drink, to this cigar. So we'll be back, we'll see if it works, we're not too sure, uh, and we'll tell you what we're uh, having in the second third. Bud Light. Mm. So we are back in the second third, uh, smoking on this, and a lot of the, uh, I would say any hint of the sharper notes has kind of calmed down into more of those creamy notes. And then there's another flavor I was trying to land on, I think, I've kind of found it, it's those like white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. Uh, yes. It's got that macadamia nut like... But the white chocolate? I, yeah. yeah. Like mixed in. So we're actually going to be pairing it with a particular American whiskey, not bourbon, not rye. Um, we're not going to really tell you what this whiskey is. Uh, drop down in the comments if you have any guesses. We'll let you know. Uh, but this uh, particular whiskey should actually pair decently well with the flavor notes we're getting. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. If anything, I think that white chocolate becomes more strong, more forward. That works pretty well. Yeah, the cookie is just turned into a white chocolate cocoa 86%. So part of the reasons also I wanted to review this Liga Zebra, this Friday, that would be uh, the 28th, from 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m., uh, the creator of this cigar, Tim Swanson of Cigars Daily, is actually going to be visiting our shop. If you are free on Friday or after work, stop by, meet Tim, he's an awesome dude, and kind of hear his journey through the cigar industry, but also how some of these blends came to fruition and uh, it'll be a great time. So stop by, we're gonna be running a lot of specials on American Viking, as well as swag, hats, lighters, the whole nine yards. So we're gonna keep smoking. We'll come back with our final thoughts on the final third on this Liga Zebra. And if you get a chance, join us this Friday at three o'clock to eight o'clock. So we are in the last third, um, and I would say some of the flavoring has taken on like almost like a toasted note, like almost a roasted nut. Kind of like caramelized white chocolate. So phenomenal cigar. If you guys have not tried Liga Zebra, cannot recommend it enough. 
especially in the barber pole de department. It's one of the top notch barber poles out there. Thanks for smoking the Legal Zebra. Thanks for bringing it up. So we will see you later. Stay smoky as always, and thank you for watching Oakland Tobacconist, where conversation lights up.